This is Yellowstone Park. This hike will be taking place in the northern western part of the park up here. Going to start at the Specimen Creek Trailhead. Hike up to the Shelf Lake and Crescent Lake Junction. Hike over to Crescent Lake. This is a 17.2 mile round trip hike. And you will do about 2,700 vertical feet hiking this trail. One thing I'm always careful to do hiking early is looking for tracks, grizzly tracks. And right now, as you see, I don't know if you can see or not, but they are fresh moose tracks going up the trail. And right now it's just starting the rutting season for the moose, so need to be a little bit careful around the bull moose right now. As you can see, the fall colors are coming out. First snow of the year up there. Here's some grizzly tracks on the trail, at least a day old, it's been raining. Grizzly tracks going both directions. Ones I saw earlier going up the trail, those are coming down the trail. Specimen Creek is a great place for grizzly bears. But as you can see, there's a lot of trees and sometimes they're, well, most of the time, they're pretty hard to see or to find or to spot. Sure is muddy out here today. There continues to be tons of grizzly tracks up and down the trail.
This is the first campsite on Specimen Creek. So if you were camping here, you'd have nice big grizzly bears walking by. So that's the campsite right there. See all the grizzly tracks going up and down the trail. I show uh, campers all the time. The tracks, the grizzly bears that walk right by their camp at night. And normally they're a little bit uh, shocked to find out. The grizzly bear walked by them during the night and they didn't know it, but There are grizzly bears everywhere in Yellowstone and Yellowstone ecosystem. And they walk by your camps all the time. What you need to do is start watching closely for evidence. Look for tracks, look for fresh scat, scratch marks on trees. That kind of thing. Now I can tell all of these tracks, it, it rained last night so it's a little bit hard to tell how old these tracks are, but they're not that old because they're still in the trail. Nobody's walked over them. Horses haven't uh, destroyed them, anything like that. So they are pretty fresh tracks. I'd say all these tracks I'm looking at are at least 12 hours old at least. Most likely a little older. It can't be too much older because a lot of people hike on this trail. Another thing I like to mention about all these tracks is try to watch for them and don't step on them when you see them on the trail, leave them there for the uh, next person to see and enjoy. You shouldn't uh, destroy things that people really don't see very much, like grizzly tracks. You shouldn't pick up antlers. When you see antlers, don't go and grab them. Pick them up. Stack them along the trail. Try to leave things as naturally as you can. Don't disturb anything. Looks like we also have a little fox coming up here. Lots of great tracks on a trail after the rain. It's 
So it shows you, even though you may not see wildlife, just like we haven't seen anything yet this morning, it's all around. For me, just seeing the evidence of wolves and foxes, coyotes, bears, really makes it enjoyable for me to be out here. Right now it's so perfectly quiet. No people around. Perfect weather. It's almost like paradise out here. You can see right through here there was a fire several years ago. I can't remember, it seems like it's like, I don't know, about eight years ago, I think. I keep showing these grizzly bear tracks because I really enjoy seeing them so much. And if you come hiking out here, carefully look down and see if you see bear tracks and try to identify if it's a black bear or a grizzly bear. I have a video out there on my education playlist that uh, teaches you how to recognize the difference between a grizzly bear Coyote. Anyway, how to recognize the difference between a grizzly bear and a black bear track. It shows you it's not always so straightforward. It's not always so easy to tell the difference. Sure is staying dark out here today. Here's a big pile of grizzly scat. Still lots of tracks on the trail. You can see the little fox is still in front of me. Getting closer to the snow line. Specimen Creek.
Right there is another backcountry campsite. We'll see what it is here in a second. As you can see, there's a lot of grizzly bear activity along here. So if you decide to camp there, that should uh, add a little excitement for you. WE4 Still grizzly tracks up here at the uh, Shelf Lake Junction. We'll be going up that way. Up to Crescent Lake. That takes you up to Shelf Lake. I think I'll sit under the tree here and have a snack. Starting to look like winter up here. I'm on the Crescent Lake Trail now. And uh, also grizzly tracks up here. Hopefully, uh, I won't get into that thick fog up there, especially with all the grizzlies around. Getting up closer to the fog. It is just amazing up here. 
I've been running into quite a bit of down timber on this trail. Yeah, a little over 8,500 feet so far, elevation. You may have noticed that, that there's no fresh grizzly signs, grizzly tracks, or anything in the snow. So, like I said before, those tracks we were following were before the snow last night, so they're 12 to 24 hours old probably. <clears throat> the lake is only about a quarter mile up there. A lot of timber here. Okay, at the lake. Here is one of the backcountry campsites. WE6. This is a beautiful lake. You can see the ducks out there during the summer on the other side on those cliffs. You can usually see mountain goats. As you can see, it is 8.6 miles to the lake. Well, I think I'll go ahead and head back. This is a beautiful lake. And it's always worth it to hike to it. Snow is starting to melt. I'm getting wet from all the snow falling off the trees.
finally start seeing the mountains a little bit. Well, and totally out of the snow. So I think I'll take a lunch break. Right here looks like a good spot. Nice place to be eating lunch. Got about one mile to go. Okay, back at the trailhead. Let's see how far it was. Looks like it was 17.2 miles and about eight and a half hours.